What up guys, welcome back to another episode It's your boy Teza Boy, if it's your first time joining into the channel Go ahead and check out the other vlogs I do auto vlogs, I do DIYs and I do a project build which I have at BMW E30 Don't be afraid to subscribe to help the channel grow And like and comment what you think So guys, today we are going to be servicing the transmission and the engine on the IS250 And that's my daily, so you know we have to take care of right and thing so stay tuned i'm gonna take you with me and show you how we do it all right out Alright guys, sorry for the background noise. There's a truck beside me but currently see all the goodies here. I'll I'll change filter and everything. I'm gonna show you guys uh, what's happening in a bit. Alright, stay tuned. Alright peeps, so we are under the car right now and I already did a vlog on the engine oil service and change. So in order to get to the oil filter for the engine, you have to remove this little square thingy guard right there. It has three 10 mm bolts. Um, and then the bung for the engine will be right here. This little bung right here. So um, for the transmission now, it's my first time doing it. Um, so you have to remove the guard. Um, all 10 millimeter um, bolts I'm counting what two four uh, six six 10 millimeter bolts you have to remove and when you get this guard down then I'll show you how it looks so stay tuned all right guys so I've removed the guards and you can see the oil filter um, casing right here engine crank case and the transmission crank fan crank case oil fan so, so um, basically this is the bung that you would remove to leak out the oil for the transmission and um, this is on the left side of the car, these two 10 mm bolts holes on a casing that you have to remove in order to reach the, the bung that you would remove to pour back in the oil after you have um, removed it. Where am I say? Where am I say? So I'll show you guys the step-by-step -step process. So stay tuned to see what's happening. Um, that was removed from covering the transmission crank pan or oil pan this is the one that covers the oil filter casing and then this is the other little casing that covered the side right here that I told you guys about so it's this little bung right here yeah you can focus this one right here and I'll tell you the size of each of them when I'm through what size um whether it's a spanner or a socket to do it so i'm gonna go ahead and remove the oil from the transmission all right guys so this is a 14 millimeter socket that you use to remove the um the bomb or the, the, the yeah the oil bomb and I'm leaking out the transmission to the nose so I'm gonna give it a little time to be leaked out fully so I can go ahead and pour in the new one and I'll show you how to do that alright peeps so we're back alright so I went ahead and I removed the second bung it is actually a size 24 socket and this is what it looks like so this small one is a 14 millimeter and it goes right here where you leak out the oil, the transmission oil and the second one 
is a size 24 millimeter and it goes to the side right here uh see if i can get right there so that's where it goes and that's where you actually um go ahead and throw back in the oil that's where you throw in the oil the transmission oil so it's still dripping i'm just giving it a little time to to make sure i get everything out um but still oil out of it so you know you want the transmission to be running good just give it a little time don't hurry because the car didn't get a lot of time to drain so i actually just parked not too long ago all right guys so basically i bought this little device here to um screw in the oil bottle to pump in the transmission fluid but i bought the toyota i bought the toyota oil atf oil um however this the, this rim is way bigger than this factory um, nozzle for it to work so what I'm gonna do is I have a spare oil bottle which I know it fits I'm gonna pour in the transmission fluid in this one and then I'll screw it on and pump it into the transmission so that's how I'm gonna get back the oil into the transmission all right all right guys so basically um this is how the setup looks and then you know just like a cologne bottle or so <laughs> you start pumping and it pumps the transmission fluid into the transmission so So this is what you do to get all the fluid in. All right, what you can do, another option would be to get a piece of hose from up in the engine bay, let someone feed it down to you through here and you put it in the side and you get like a little funnel at the top and you would pour it in. All right guys, so finished with the transmission. So to the side here where the bung was, after I um, filled it with transmission fluid, it started overflowing, that's so you know when it's full. What you can do to ensure that it has enough is to start the car, cover the bung, start the car, put it in all the gears, reverse, drive, neutral, for a couple of times and then you switch it off and pull the bung again and try to put some more in there until it overflows and then you screw it up. So that's the bung on the side here with the 24 where it's covered by the guard right there. So that's pretty much it for servicing the transmission. If you wish to remove the filter, you can probably stay tuned for the next episode where uh, the next time I'm servicing the transmission, I'll go ahead and remove the transmission filter as well. So. That's it for now. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the engine oil and filter. And if you want to see that, I'll drop a link for the vlog that I did on the engine service. So check out the other vlogs, guys. Remember to subscribe, like, share, comment. Peace.